Yeah, you're right to look worried, mate. That's a dingo. Oh, God. Australia has its very own wild doggo, and it's called the dingo. Oh, but how deadly is it? I'm Ann Jones from ABC Science, and it's my job to watch viral videos of dingoes. The boss has stole my camera. Stand still, mate. Just stand still. Don't. Just don't. While you're here, if you like this sort of video, why don't you hit subscribe? And that way you won't miss it when we upload the next one. Let's crack on. Oh, my God! Oh! I want to scratch the belly. Little white tootsies. But dingoes are not domestic dogs. They're a wild animal. They're closer to the grey wolves of East Asia than they are to our blue healer, right? They will have that more like sort of greyhound-esque sort of body that goes really slim in the abdomen and pretty agile and muscular looking legs ready to run around. And on top of that, really mobile joints, and that includes their necks, because unlike domestic dogs, a dingo can look over its shoulder. How you doing? Oh, hello. <gasps> look at how cute it is! <gasps> he, she, it's just used its little schnoot. <laughs> I read about him in a research paper that came out of Melbourne. There's a dingo research institute there. Ah, oh, so close! Such a complex set of movements. It's not only lifting the latch, it's using its body weight to push the door. But it's the ears that are the problem, mate. Oh, see that ear go boink? <laughs> How cool is that? That is problem solving at its absolute very best. Tool use, especially spontaneous tool use, as in tool use that isn't encouraged by humans, is a sight to behold and extremely rare and hasn't been seen in other canines. Next one. Hey, I'm here on Gari and it's really exciting because there are two dingoes and one is coming towards us. <laughs> This is one of my videos from Fraser Island, and luckily I've got Conway with me. He is going to tell us all about him. Look, look. And they're Wangaris oh. in our language. Oh, Wangari, yeah! <laughs> Conway Burns, who is one of the Indigenous rangers who works on the island, he gave me a lesson or two in Wangari culture. Once upon a time, there used to be two types of dingoes here. Focus, and focus. There was your domestic, Dingo, the camp dingo. Yeah. Since all our old people are gone, yeah. they're all wild. They're yeah. all wangari. They're all wangari. On Gari, there's apparently like one to two hundred dingoes, and there's about nineteen formed packs. And within that, they'll have a hierarchy that is policed constantly. Those below will constantly be trying to rise, and those above will constantly be trying to stay on top and be the leader of the gang. Like when you see them together, it's like watching a soap opera. Yeah. Only one can be top dog. Are we still rolling? Next video. Just stand still, mate. Just stand still. Good advice. That would be intimidating. <laughs> don't, just don't. All that stuff excites them. No, that's OK. What happens is sometimes when they're really excited, right they'll come in and nip and bite. Play for them involves biting. Play for them involves roughhousing and things like that. And, of course, in amongst themselves, they can deal with that. But if we get involved in it, it's going to be a nasty bite or a nip to one of your limbs. The difference between play and prey is nothing. Next one. I have lost my fiancé, the poor baby. <laughs> Maybe the dingo ate your baby. <sighs> The dingo ate your baby. <laughs> it was going to come up at some point, right, this cultural reference. And I think that that isn't actually making fun of dingoes, it's making fun of Australians. Uh, but yeah, look, 
Dingoes can be aggressive, but they're nowhere near as deadly as bad acting. Hi, little dingo. Oh, wait a second, that's a whale. They will eat anything. Dead crabs, dead fish, they'll rip apart coconuts. They'll even eat uh, human poos. So if you do have to go to the toilet when you're on Fraser Island, you need to bury it really deep or else. <laughs> What a sound. And that vocal slip, the wee. <laughs> I apologise to any cats watching. OK, campsite, campsite. Oh, hi. I was just, uh, I just wanted a cup of tea and I'll take this as I go. <laughs> it's easy to be really scared of something and demonise something that actually isn't quite as bad as we might make out. Consider this, every single year in Australia, in public hospitals, there are something like 12 to 14,000 admissions due to domestic dog bites. So 98 dingo maulings over the course of 10 years versus that. You can see what's more deadly. Yeah, let's get another one in. Did you get someone's phone? Look at those teeth. Longer than dog teeth, apparently. Longer jaw as well. Whoa! Who's that? <laughs> Are they chasing it? I love that the dingo pressed record. No. That was pretty cool, right? What animal should we do next? Make sure you comment below and subscribe to ABC Science. And I'll catch you next time.